You know what? Since you've been putting out the maestro all night, why not just do a creepy pasta on a, on a WWE one? Or I could read Sonic X Lost Episode Revenge of the Jungle Trap. Going back to Sonic? Yeah, we're going back into Sonic. As you may know, the one and only Sonic anime, Sonic X, that's not the only one, was my third favorite show. Why would I know that? First being Spongebob, second being The Amazing World of Gumball, what? And fourth being Adventure Time. But now these days, 4Kids barely announces new episodes of the show. Just some... Okay, I'm going to copy-paste this into the hitbox chat so you can see it. Just some Yu-Gi-Oh! episodes. <laughs> you gi Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Tokyo Mew Mew slash Mew Mew Power episodes. And other crap I can think of. But, there was an episode I hated named Girls Jungle Trap, which was episode 58. I hated that episode a lot. Because Amy, Cream, and Cosmo are kidnapped in a fucking jungle... And Sonic, Tails, Chris, and other boy characters I can think of are supposed to save them. And that was obviously one of the worst ideas 4Kids ever came up with. Why is that the worst idea? All 4Kids does is dub the anime. They don't actually write the story. Oh, I should have read the next sentence. It ruined Son Amy too. Ugh. Episodes 52 and 65, in my opinion, were so much better. When does the actual creepy stuff start? I was about to ask, where the fuck's the creepy shit? Yeah, so Hell, far, just, stuff, but maybe the yeah, so far it just sounds like any given like internet comment about about talking about the Sonic X or something. This is a DeviantArt journal entry so far. Oh dear, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it explains everything. At school, one of my friends were talking about the future of Sonic X, and I didn't really bother joining that chat because they were just spamming about a sequel to Girls Jungle Trap. I just watched them talk about that shit until I heard the word episode 80 come up to my head. So I joined that chat even though I didn't bother to. Bother to what? I asked them about episode 80, but my girlfriend said that... uh, Yeah, right. My girlfriend said that (laughs) 4 Kids has not even reached that episode yet because they didn't do episode 79 yet. At 3 p.m. I was finally able to go home. But during when I walked home from school... I, oh really, I found an abandoned tape, and the tape said Sonic X80 on it. He just found this. Yeah. Makes Uh, sense. I was strolling through the park one day. Bingo, I have found a lost episode. Pretty much I haven't found any lost tapes in my life. Well, yeah. So this was a really big find. When I went home, I realized that Mom and Dad hate having unknown tapes in the house. That's a really weird rule to have. So I hid it behind my books in a bookshelf. On a Friday, because it could be porn or something. (laughs) Yeah. On a Friday night, Mom and Dad were out to a meeting, and I had to look after my brother Anthony. At one o'clock a.m., I started thinking about the tape. So I got the tape and played it on my TV. I was hoping it would absolutely not be any girl's jungle trap shit ruining my TV screen. Girl. Your shit! <laughs> <laughs> girl's jungle trap! <laughs> Calm down! I wonder what will come up, I thought to myself. I was hoping the volume to be low, because I didn't want to wake up my brother Anthony. Anyways, when I played the tape, it showed a countdown. And then the episode started. Instead of showing the stuff that happens before the intro, it skipped all the way to the intro. I hummed along to the song, nothing odd, until I saw that Chris was missing. Captain Wesker, where's Chris? (laughs) (laughs) Don't open that movie! I think it's because of the fact that he left to his home back in episode 78. Is there an... Okay. I continued anyway. The title of the episode was Revenge of the Jungle Trap. When I saw the title, I was alarmed because the sentence Jungle Trap... That's not a sentence. 
means that it's most likely going to be the same shit that happened in Girls' Jungle Trap. And not to mention that it also said a special San Amy episode on the top and from the writers of Girls' Jungle Trap on the bottom. I was starting to think, was this episode meant to be released for all of San Amy fans? Including me? Dream on. Yeah, that's the audience they want to cater to. The episode began with Sonic and Amy at a fancy restaurant. The name of the restaurant was Le Café Miro 81. Pretty much that was odd, seeing as that was the name of a restaurant in the 2000 horror film Final Destination. <laughs> I, I'm starting to think this is getting stupider by the second. Amy was wearing her dress that was seen in episode 65 of Sonic X. Sonic was wearing right. a fancy tuxedo. Amy and Sonic were about to kiss. I thought to myself, yay! Except there was something strange and wrong. The music was... Take a guess. Yeah, Spooky reverse. reverse. Playing in reverse. And the animation was in a grayscale. Strange, I know. Just when Amy was about to kiss Sonic... An asshole kidnapped Amy, and then I said very loudly, WHAT THE FUCK?! <laughs> NO! <laughs> NOT AGAIN! <laughs> it's oh all in God. caps with a ton of it exclamation points, by the way. <laughs> Dear DeviantArt, <laughs> Then Sonic was sent into action. But then the screen cut to black. I was like, huh? Then the screen snapped back with Tails, bending down to Cosmo's grave and saying, oh, I miss you, Cosmo, I'm gonna die. in a sad, loving tone. Then he was interrupted by Amy's yell for help. Sonic said, Don't worry! Oh, oh, wait. Don't worry! I'm coming for you! But the animation was blurry this time, and all I saw was a blue blob jumping over a yellow one, and was headed towards the pink one. I pretty much wanted to turn off the TV, but I really didn't want to. What? Okay, fine. Makes sense to me. War it never changes, so. except when it does. Yes, no. <laughs> I wanted to see the rest of the episode. Two minutes later, there was a scene of Cream all alone in a subway. When she boarded a train, the train announcer said, Next stop, Grieving, sorry, Graving Park. For some reason, Graving Park happens to be a sad park. Gee! <laughs> you think? <laughs> was Cream upset over something? I was hoping she wouldn't cry, but she did. <laughs> Her crying was really annoying as my brother's crying. Both are way too loud, but Cream's was louder as hell. My ears were bleeding unconstantly. What? <laughs> Luck Wait, is this my story? <laughs> Luckily, my brother did not wake up. The scene of her sadness ended. Thank God! The scene then showed Shadow with Rouge. Rouge was being a bitch in front of Shadow. Sounds normal. <laughs> Shadow said, Oh, why is she so aggressive? Then the scene showed Amy in the prison. The prison she was in had... Okay, what was all over the walls and the floor of this prison? Blood. She was she, the prison she was in had blood all over the walls and the floor. I was like, Question. "Holy fucking shit!" <laughs> then a black Watch. screen came up again. I was like, "Shit!" <laughs> <laughs> then a girl came out of the loudspeakers. No, a girl scream came out of the loudspeakers. Sorry. I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> I jumped with fear. That moment almost gave me a heart attack. The screen snapped back again. Cream was then wearing a black dress. I freaked out saying, What the? Is her mother Vanilla dead? I was scared shitless. But the worst came. Cream hanged herself with a noose around her neck and her hands tied behind her back. How'd you get the noose on? <laughs> no, she uh, tied her hands behind her behind as she was getting hanged. That's quite a talent. So her mother Vanilla did die. I was then yelling. Then the screen went back to black yet again. I said to myself, 
Please no scream, please! Then the screen snapped back. Sonic was then kidnapped too. Then I said, oh shit. Then he was thrown into the exact same cell Amy was in. I should warn you, this is a really long one. Grab pop some popcorn. I was then worrying. Then four minutes later, it was even worse than before. The prison guards then turned Amy into a vampire. What? What? <laughs> okay. Uh, she, she had evil red eyes and she had a snake-like tongue. She bit Sonic's neck and started sucking his blood and then he turned into a vampire too. I then started to get scared even more. I screamed and then started to cry with pain. I said, no, please don't. Stop, 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 please. It was starting to get worse. What was weird is that every Sonic X episode always lasts about 20 minutes, beating Eggman being 40 minutes. But, however, this one was about an hour and 40 minutes due to the long-ass black screens. I was continuing to sob, yet wanting to vomit my guts out. I was sobbing even more. Then it was far off worse than what happened. Uh... There was wedding music, but it was played in a high, scary pitch. And there was also a creepy siren noise. The noise was similar to the siren noise you hear in Silent Hill or something. <laughs> How about the game Siren? Sheesh. The scene was then showing Sonic and Amy making Tails bleed to death unconstantly. So, uh, so sometimes he is, sometimes is he isn't. Isn't Anna constantly an oxymoron? Inconstance? Tails was screaming for help. I was unconstantly crying and yelling. <laughs> Wouldn't unconstantly mean the opposite of constant? Yes. Oh, so everything's fine. Eh, hey, okay. Then the same exact thing that happened to Tails also happened to Rouge. Knuckles, Espio, Charmy, Shadow, and Vector. I was freaking out so loud. Then Amy and Sonic were laughing evilly. I was screaming and crying and saying, Amy! Sonic! No! <laughs> oh my god! Then end credits came, with the scary wedding music still playing. The credits even had the names of people I didn't know. The copyright notice at the end said, Copyright 4 Kids 2002 was pretty odd seeing as Sonic X was created in 2003. After the episode was over, scary wedding music was still playing, and then it showed the writer of Girls' Jungle, Jungle Trap on the subway tracks. She was sobbing uncontrollably as I was, but then an on-speeding train was heading towards her, and that was it. She was hit by the train. She was dead. And I was glad because I hate Girls' Trap! Okay, that's not actually what it says. <laughs> <laughs> then the scary wedding music ended. But then there was Russian text. Oh, God, the Russians again. <laughs> Damn the Russians. I was a... F what? I was afraid of Russian text because it reminds me of the sounds of hell? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Uh, uh, huh? I'm sorry, what? Then there was a scary voice reading the text. Then I got scared even more. Jeez, what is this guy's ceiling for being scared? And then, then something worse happened. Then something worse happened. Then something worse happened. I called the cops. They arrived just in time to see what was happening. As soon as they arrived... It then showed a kid in a school hallway drinking from a water fountain. Then the tape ended abruptly, and when I was about to take the tape out of the VCR, it fell on the floor, with the picture tape scrambled in it. Hmm? I explained the cops everything about the tape. My brother Anthony woke up. He wanted to know what the hell was happening. The cops told him what happened. Then the cops took me and Anthony, Anthony to an open late cafe. Is it Le Café 81 or whatever it was? One of the cops told me that I may have had a bad dream. I told him it wasn't. 
I then opened the tape and showed him what was on the picture tapes. What? Uh, didn't you say it was scrambled? Yeah. Eh. Also, it's it's a VHS. It's really hard to, like... Uh. In fact, is that even possible? I, he was then shocked at what I showed him. It's not like a film reel. I mean... Okay, moving on. And then he tried smashing the tape into little pieces, but the tape was indestructible. What? <laughs> Why would he try to destroy evidence? You just Why? took it apart! And then... I then, mean, apparently you can take it apart, but you can't destroy it. That makes total sense. The next day, Saturday, I found a random sticky note on the tape. It said, Girl's Jungle Trap was not supposed to exist. It was created to replace 2 at 12 v tag. I was finally able to translate what the person in the text said. I translated it to English. Wh what? How? Uh, and it happened to be saying super English. It happened to be saying Abandoned Hope and Thy God. In ten years Sonic and Amy will get you. Now is it regular Sonic and Amy or Vampire Sonic and Amy? Whatever. I was scared and doomed. We're all doomed. I tried doing a little research on the episode on IMDB, but nothing came up. I already know that 4Kids has their own YouTube channel, so I emailed them about the episode and got a reply saying, Thank you for contacting us about the episode. One thing, how on earth did you find out about that? We never, ever thought we would go through this again. Basically, yeah. the person who came up with the idea of Girl's Jungle Trap actually did die. We fired her for having this as a sequel to the episode you hated. We are sorry, Vincent. Yes, that is my name. That you were seriously upset about the episode. Apology to yeah. burst your bubble about the copyright notice saying year 2002, but Sonic X goes way back as the world would know it. What? God damn it. And we never did put in any vampire stuff or the evil wedding music or the creepy sirens or any scary stuff like that. Neither did we put that Russian text in. We're not that sick. Well, nice to know that four kids doesn't fuck around with kids. <laughs> now, now, this is our theory. The writer just actually edited it, it and put in all that stuff. Then she hidden it at the dumpster you found it right in... I censored the name of my hometown. When you were walking home from school... Oh, and about that footage of her subway death and the kid in the hallway... We do not know! We did not! Sorry, Vincent, from the bottom of our hearts for your concern. We didn't even know why those last two clips were in. Four kids, a.k.a. the company involved with Revenge of the Jungle Trap. Four kids would never send a message like that. No one would... No company would. No, they wouldn't. Episode origin. There is no origin of the episode, clearly. Why did you even write this section? It is to be known the first person to watch this committed suicide. He said, Death and suffering should not be known of this. Thirteen times before taking out a revolver and shooting its... Oh. <laughs> Copying fucking suicide mouse, really? What else? Well, apparently, if you find the exact same tape as I did, I want you to stay the fuck away from it. If you have seen any abandoned tapes too... Contact the company who created it by YouTube only. What? By YouTube only? <laughs> that's, that's how you get shit done. Mm. Yeah, man. Because when a Sonic X viewer death is compared to this, it has to be something terrifying. Ah. <sighs>